This is the circuit diagram of an active low pass filter using operational amplifier. The active device used here is an operational amplifier IC741. The main disadvantage of passive low pass filter is that the amplitude of the output signal is less than that of the input signal. So an attenuation will be occurred in passive filters. Hence by using an active low pass filter such attenuation in the pass band of filters can be avoided. Op-amp IC741 needs a dual power supply, hence a 15 plus 15 volt minus 15 volt dual power supply is used here. Connect plus 15 volt to pin number 7 and minus 15 volt to pin number 4. Ground terminal of dual power supply should be connected separately in the breadboard. So the active device used here is the operational amplifier which is the IC741 Sen8 pin dip IC that is dual inline package and it needs a dual power supply. So proper functioning of IC741 we have to connect a dual power supply with plus 15 volt minus 15 volt as the power supply for this operational amplifier. So the effective voltage will be 30 volt. Now connect the filter section. It includes a 15 kilo ohm resistor and a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Connect 15 kilo ohm resistor to pin number 3 that is the non inverting input terminal of the operational amplifier. Then connect the 0 0.01 microfarad ceramic disc capacitor between pin number 3 and ground. So one end of 0 0.1, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor will be connected to pin number 3 that is the non-inverting input terminal and the other end to the ground. Now the filter section completed. Now we have to connect the input resistor and feedback resistor. Input resistor should be connected to pin number 2 that is the non-inverting so that is the inverting input terminal of op-amp and the other terminal to the ground. Ground should be connected separately from the dual power supply. And then connect input feedback resistor RF which is also 10 kilo ohm so both RF and RI both are 10 kilo ohm so its ratio will be so their ratio will be 1 that is RF by RI will be 1 because both are the same so for an non-inverting operational amplifier op amp configuration its gain voltage gain will be 1 plus RF by RI. So both RF and RI both are 10 kilo ohm. Hence the voltage gain of the circuit is 2. That is 1 plus RF by RI will be 2 for non-inverting amplifier configuration with RF and RI both are 10 kilo ohm in value. Then connect a 10 kilo ohm load resistor and one and one end of 10 kilo ohm load resistor should be connected to pin number 6 that is the output terminal of operational amplifier and the ground and then connect the input signal in function generator select a sine wave and set amplitude as 2 volt peak to peak and connect it to the 15 kilo ohm resistor which is already connected to pin number 3 and on the other end we have to connect the input signal then connect the input side to DSO channel 1 in order to observe the input sine wave and connect DSO channel 2 to the output in order to observe the output variations 
so in order to study the characteristics we have to connect both input and output to the dso and then we will go to we will adjust the input frequency from few hertz to kilohertz now you can see the input and output input is uh, yellow and the output is the blue now adjust the input frequency from few hertz to few kilohertz in order to observe the response of the circuit input voltage peak to peak is 2 volt and the amplitude of pass band output will be 2 into that is 4 volt in peak to peak the cutoff frequency of the circuit is 1 kilohertz voltage gain of the circuit is 2 for frequencies below the desired cutoff frequency that is 1 kilohertz for the circuit and frequencies above 1 kilohertz will be attenuated and filtered so unlike passive filters the amplitude of the output of this circuit will be doubled in pass band so the pass band signal can be strengthened by using this circuit the main advantage of active filters over passive filters is this amplification unlike passive filters the maximum frequency response of an active filter is limited to the gain bandwidth product of the operational amplifier which is used in the circuit this is basically a low pass filter so frequencies below the cutoff frequency will be passed without any attenuation and due to the presence of an active element it will strengthen or amplify the input signal here it will be 2 into the amplitude of input signal because the gain of voltage gain of the circuit is 2 and the frequency is above 1 kilohertz that is the frequency is above cutoff frequency of the circuit will be attenuated and filtered 